without a job, Blair has traveled to Toronto for a series of meetings with Red Path, an organization that helps people with autism find and maintain employment. A little nervous. <laughs> Just that I won't really be able to, like, articulate myself well enough to get some help from this. Blair will first be meeting with career counselor Sarah Southey. Hi, Blair. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. It is a big challenge for many people who are living with autism spectrum disorder to find meaningful work. Blair has applied to a lot of different jobs over the years, but with very limited success. So I'd like to narrow her focus to a couple of fields that would be a good match for her. Tell me a little bit about your journey with job-related issues. I find that most of the jobs that I'm good at are very physically demanding jobs, like being on a moving truck, mm -hmm. working with animals in a shelter, mm -hmm. uh, landscaping. Mm -hmm. I tend to be a rigid thinker, mm -hmm. and I'm sort of slow to process mm -hmm. changing information. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that the part that you liked the most of your last job was a line cook, and that's what you thought you were originally yeah. getting into. But then they would put me on cash, mm -hmm. and I would have customers complain that I didn't smile enough. They would complain mm -hmm. that I was too slow with the cash. I found not just the numbers, but the, um, the screens mm -hmm. and the way the information was set up on the computers and the cash registers extremely overwhelming to look at. Dyscalculia is a situation where someone is struggling with defining numbers, interpreting numbers. So I think that what would probably make sense at this point is for us to dig into uh, the career assessment tool. Okay. It's really a great discussion piece about things that you like and dislike. Okay. Uh, and hopefully it'll kind of guide us a bit further uh, around different careers and ideas. Sarah's questions will help focus Blair's job search. Sketch, draw, or paint? I paint a lot. I'm not very good at drawing. Use metalworking or machine tools? Uh, no. Take care of young children? Uh, only if they're not babies. Okay. It suggests that you're quite artistic as well as investigative and realistic. In terms of careers that you've actually thought about doing, as we talked about possibly working as like a prep cook or in the kitchen sort of thing, yeah. those are very realistic type careers. To be yeah. like to work with things rather than people, I yes. see that as probably something that yeah. is accurate for you. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah. me. I'm very good at learning by doing. Mm -hmm. Working with your hands, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, physical repetition with hands, um, movement is important. And that's where we see things like working in a kitchen would be good. Let's get you working. Yeah. I think it's time, right? I think, and you know it's time. Yeah. I'm going to walk you out. All right. My previous job search strategy has been to just go full out. I think I'm going to just focus on certain jobs that I know that I could really uh, make a good resume for and make a good case for myself rather than just a generic explosion outward of just trying everything under the sun.